This is young Jake Paul. Growing up, he was always a class clown. He used to always get himself into trouble and his teachers always told him that you are going to get nowhere with your life. When Jake Paul was 16 years old, he discovered the art of social media and his talent for pissing off people on the internet. He started posting his thirst traps and his cringe videos on YouTube. Hey ladies, oh god, uh, they're like 12. I gotta go. <laughs> But there was one anonymous donator that was there to support him along the way and Jake has never found the name of that person. But yesterday in a Mike Tyson Jake Paul conference, the identity of that anonymous donator has been revealed. I saw a picture of him dancing at 16 doing a little dance on yeah. YouTube and for some reason I had a reject an erection. <laughs> 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 the room went quiet now as most of us are well aware we made a video about it a few months ago as well when the fight was announced mike tyson versus jake paul 20th of july 2024 they had one of their press conferences yesterday and it was wild i don't know if he's in his prime he's fat he should be lean and mean he's fat and funky i saw him with his shirt off the other day he's fat i thought did you start training already? Now, like I said in the last video I made about this whole thing a few months ago, it's a Netflix fight. It's like a charity football game. It's not that serious. People are going to have fun. The whole point of it is to make money. And before Conor McGregor, who was the best person to trash talk and hype up a fight, it was the man himself, Mike Tyson. Jackie, you punk ass white boy. Come here and tell me that if I fuck you in your ass, you punk white boy. You faggot. You can't touch me. You're not man enough. I eat your asshole alive, you bitch. Come and tell you my face. I fuck you ass for that. Everybody. I feel like Mike is the only person who can say that he is going to play with your booty hole and put it inside you and then call you gay. <laughs> He's not the gay one. You are the gay one. You can say all these things and get away with it, but it's 2024 and the internet is very sensitive with this whole thing. Now, Mike has a very unique and creative way to, you know, do his roast, get inside the, the his opponent's head. We still don't know if he actually wants to get inside, you know, their uh, booty hole or no, but we all assume that it is all trash talk and it's part of the game. We don't really believe he's gay. Now, before he went onto this conference i have no doubt that his managers his public uh image defenders i don't know what they're called they sat down with him and be like mike this is not 1988 all right we want you to trash talk but not the way you used to okay we're trying to keep it family friendly a little bit because it's going to be on netflix and a lot of kids will be, will be watching it as well i'm not very sure if mike was high when his manager was talking to him all these things but mike said fine he went into stage and the first thing that came into his mind is jake when i saw you on youtube doing your dances six at 16 years old you gave me a boner. He could have said 18 years old. Just two two more years above and things would have been cool. Literally, the whole room went quiet. And I really blame Jake for this because even though the managers told Mike not to say anything sus or gay, Jake made this sus comment about him and Tyson couldn't hold himself anymore. I want to kiss Mike's big juicy lips. You want to kiss me? <laughs> he said he Indeed. Wanted to kiss you. Huh? He said he wanted to kiss you. That's so ironic that he said that because I saw a picture of him dancing at 16 doing a little dance on yeah. YouTube and for some reason I had a reject an erection. <laughs> <laughs> Now, after he said that, his manager started punching walls. The Netflix producers realized what kind of a big mistake was to have Mike in this whole thing. He just left a lot of people speechless. And he's getting a little bit of hate about it as well with the woke people nowadays. Even a reporter tried to shut him down, not because of the comment he made, but because of the fact of a big age difference. And she asked, how do you respond to people saying that the age gap is way too big and this whole thing is going to be a flop? How do you respond to people who are critical about this fight taking place in the first place at all because of your differences, particularly your age? Well, I don't see too many people critical about it. Look at this. Ha, 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 ha. Critics, I mean. Excuse me? Critics, you know. People who? In the Tell me who. Name us somebody. Folks. You? Who? <laughs> no. 
folks who say it. Thanks. Yeah, no, thanks. Not only the reporters, even the people on Twitter, they're also questioning his way of the way he speaks because it's 2024. You can't call someone fat. I don't know if he's in his prime. He's fat. This person said Tyson fat shames Jake Paul. Now, not a doubt in my mind, if someone spoke up and said that you can't fat shame people in 2024 in that press conference, Mike Tyson would have came up with something extremely illegal to say to that person's face and he would have used his unique and creative way to do it. <laughs> There's also this picture shared on the internet as well, which is going viral. Young Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. <laughs> now, even though Jake Paul is really good at trash talking, but after that comment, Jake was speechless as well. It was to that point. And there's also that video, this video that surfaced on the internet again with Hezbollah and Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> Hezbollah was interviewed after this meeting with Mike as well and he said that he felt a remote, a very large black remote underneath him as well. Literally Drake and Diddy can do all these things and they're gonna get criticized for it but when Mike Tyson does it, it becomes an internet meme. Even Vitaly is scared of confronting Mike Tyson after all these comments. And there's a thing going on in the internet right now that's saying like, Mike needs to come out of the closet. Mike has been hiding in the closet for too long. Do I believe he really means these things? Hell no. This is all part of the game. He's just there to hype things up. And that's the way he roasts. He roasts in a sus way. He roasts in a very gay way. And I want to point out this thing as well in their face off. The thing that Jake Paul did, the way he embarrassed himself. You are going against the person who eats booty holes for breakfast. And you are trying to intimidate and scare... I don't think there's anyone in this world who can intimidate Mike Tyson. <laughs> This situation really reminds me of Key and Peele, so, uh, the skit that they made. Mike just standing there watching Dave Jake Paul go like this. He's really thinking to himself that he's going to take him to a nice dinner. He's going to fine dine. He's going to, uh, you know, touch his thighs and he's going to take him back to his house and he's going to I'm gonna f him in the ass. <laughs> Now, on the serious note, coming up with this fight, like I said, it's going to be a charity game. It's not going to be that serious unless. Jake tries to go hardcore and tries to knock out this legend and Mike having the animal come out of him and absolutely destroying Jake. Because all it takes is one punch from Mike Tyson and you will be seeing stars and flying giraffes. And with Mike's age, he definitely doesn't have it in him anymore. Even though you see a lot of these clips, he's not fighting with his heart anymore. He also said this in his last fight ever. I forgot what year it was, but he said that he lost it. He's, he doesn't have the love for the sport. and he's, He doesn't want to disrespect the sport. That's why he didn't fight again. But he still can land pretty hard punches and he still remembers all the techniques. So they're definitely going to give us a show, but I really hope I want to see Jake Paul knocked out. There's a very high chance of that happening because if Mike Tyson, he gets knocked out, people are either going to call it rigged or they're going to be have like their jaws on the floor. And it's, it's just, it's going to be a very extremely sad day. It's, it's going to be very sad. Literally, no one will be cheering for Jake if he wins and knocks him out. I believe it's going to go till the, I don't know how many rounds they're fighting. And at the end, it's going to be a split decision. And it's going to be Mike Tyson because, you know, they want to save his reputation. And they're going to be like, woo, good fight. Take care. Here, there you go for $50 million. Enjoy. And the first time that I watched this video, my first reaction to this i gasped i was like there's no way mike said this because over the years he's been saying things to people but it was to grown-ass men it was never to you know when you were 16 you know, i used to think about you before my fight i used to look forward to coming back home and uh, uh, watching your youtube videos and having the lotion next to me <laughs> It is a fucking wild comment, but you can't really take it seriously. And the, maybe a couple of woke people are going to come towards him and try to cancel him for this. And Mike is going to do what he does best. And last thing, you know what would really be interesting about this whole thing is before the fight, Vitaly sits and interviews Mike Tyson. Vitaly is a big troll. And with the comments that Mike has been making, it'll be, it'll be something to look forward to. And if Vitaly... 
this idea comes up to him or if, if he's watching this video vitally definitely go interview him because this is going to blow up and it is going to be good for good for your career but yeah this really had my john default had me fucking laughing my ass off I just thought i would share it with you as well that was it for today's video take care of yourself i will see you at the next one